Today we're driving on a new Japanese route in Train Sim Classic. This is Kaihin Tohoku and Otsunomiya lines in Tokyo. We're going to be driving through the heart of the city, and I'm probably going to have a hard time keeping to that rigid schedule. But we're going to be doing this mission, Akabane to Ueno Rapid. This is going to be 20 minutes long. It should be a fun introduction to this route. Okay, so I'm using RW Enhancer 2 today. And it says, in this scenario, please take the E233-1000 EMU to Akabane, from Akabane to Ueno. Stop at Akabane, Higashi, Jujo, Oji, Tabata and Ueno. So Ueno is the major station on this route. But RW Enhancer basically means we get slightly different graphics, um, a little bit better optimization and some nice UI elements over here. Right, so to set up this train, what you have to do is make sure it's turned on, which it is. Uh, the pantograph should be up, I think it is. Can we see it there? There it is. And then hold this button here, and that is the emergency brake reset. And then the light will go off, put it into forward, and open the doors. Oh, yeah. So, the difficult thing about this route is that you've got to make sure... Well, you haven't really got to, but it does help to get the doors lined up with the gates. And the gates are there to stop people falling onto the line, you know, getting hurt. So, okay. <laughs> we don't hope that's going to happen today, but here we go. Um, so, it's free... 18. Is that clock right? Not entirely sure. Um, but it's a really nicely detailed cab and we've got this interior here. And this is a really newly released route. It was released on the 14th of April. It costs £24.99. I'll leave a link to it in the description. So, doors are closing. There you go. I think there's like a signal on here which tells us which doors are closed or open and stuff like that. Okay, here we go. I didn't actually check the signal, but I think it's fine. Right, so we've just got a few a few um, stops to make today, and we're only 9 kilometers away from the other one. Right. So this uh, route has 27 kilometers of track. It's based on the Kaihun, Tohoku and Utsunomiya lines. They are kind of parallel lines that run north-south in Tokyo. We're going right through the heart of Tokyo today. Oh, it's quite bright, isn't it? Very bright sunlight, but that's fine. Um, this kind of green train over here is the other line. Uh, the older line. This is the more modern one, I believe. Apparently it's built in 1914, which is crazy. Uh, whoa, break a bit. There you go. We don't want to be speeding. Well, we're speeding again. Wow, it's very easy to speed in this thing. It's a very powerful train. Look, it says which uh, units are being powered. That's kind of cool. Look, yay. Awesome. Okay, so I've got to make sure I stick to the schedule. I've got to make sure we're not late. Are we going to be late? 3.21. We're probably going to be early. Right, we've got 65 coming up, so let's slow down a bit. Very strong brakes in this train. So I've been to Tokyo a few times, um, but I always go on like the Yamanote line, which is a circle line in Tokyo. Here's the station. This one is gated. Now we've got to look for a like white and red sign and then stop right next to it. So I'm actually going to go into this view. Look, wow. We're going right over the, um, the gates here. Where's the end of the station? There, we need to slow down. Bit more. That should be okay. There's a guy walking through the vein of the machine. That's a classic train sim right there. Bit more. And stop. How good is that? Can we go zoom in? Oh, nearly. Can you see what I've got to do? I'm just slightly away. So I've got to line up with this sign. The front of the train has to be on that sign. Okay. Not too bad, but not too great either. But yeah, I do like the quality of this train. This is made by, um, oh, Union Workshop, that's the name. And they also made lots of other Chinese and Japanese routes, including that awesome Tohoku high-speed line, which has the bullet train. I love that one. Uh, look in here, wow. Look at that guy's hair, anime hair. And um, we've got lots of adverts in here. I believe a lot of the routes have, or scenarios have, custom announcements on the loudspeakers in the train, so you can hear where you are and the announcements that's really really cool and yeah i can't wait to explore more of this route look at this station what a cool looking station and look at the traffic too there's so much traffic on this line that really does add to the route wow look at that double decker carriage is there i've never seen that before um but yeah it's you know it's quite well optimized not perfect Let's just wait for the doors to close there we, there we go now we can go should definitely wait for the doors to close before we set off. That could be dangerous. Right. Um, we don't have any, like, cameras in here to show us what's going on in the train. Some lines do. I don't know. 
it would be useful to see what's going on. So I don't know if they have guards. Maybe they have um, at the major stations. They have someone at the station checking what's going on, like a guard on the station, but um, or a station master. I like the sounds as well. It sounds really nice. But listen, you can hear the, the announcements are saying change here for this line and that. Really cool. Really nicely detailed. This is meant to be a rapid line. And that just means we don't stop at all the stations. Whoa. Okay. Oh, look at this train coming in the opposite direction. Let's have a go at the horn. Not a very good horn. Like a car horn. Very, very quiet horn. Okay, 65 coming up. Let's break. Oh, look at the cherry blossom. They've done a really good, good job of making this route feel Japanese. The buildings, the cherry blossom, the advertising. Look at all that. I wonder if they have a team that's like in Japan making these, or maybe they're not in Japan. I don't know. I'd like to know more about Union Workshop. Okay, so let's see if we can actually line up this time. Whoa, whoa. Oh, no. Emergency brake. Too much. Overshot. No! Oh, but the doors are in the right place. Oh, that's one small crumb of comfort then. Didn't quite make it. Whoops. That wasn't good. Now, Dovetail Games, the creators of Train Sim, have actually been sold to Focus Interactive. Or something like that. I don't really know how it worked. Focus Interactive, they publish SnowRunner and a few other games, like Atomic Heart and stuff like that. So it'll be interesting to see what they do. Now, because Focus are a French company, they're actually having an event where they're giving away some of the DLC based in France for free. That's kind of cool. So you should, you should look out for that. I don't actually know when they're doing it. I think it was in May. What's that under there? Whoa. Look at that texture. That's like a real picture of a um, Japanese station somewhere. You could probably work out something airport access line. Anyway, it doesn't matter. Let's go. Off we go. So I, I chose a short route just because, you know, we need to get used to this route. Uh, drive quality, not good. So we need to slow down a bit. The next station is really close. They have very close together stations in Japan. Their public transport is very dense in Tokyo. Wow, look at this. That is just so cool. The way all the scenery looks. Look at all this detail. Really nicely detailed. Love it. Okay, so it's 65 down here. Uh, this train might have one of those things like a speed limiter. But I haven't worked out how to do it. That's just wiper. There's a phone. Break a bit. Come on. We're here. Oh, jeez. We're going too fast. It's like a 10 car long train, so it's pretty long. I think it is anyway. Yeah, about 10, I think. Let's slow down a bit. We're meant to be here. Oh, we're pretty much exactly on time. I'm a bit of a noob at the moment, but there you go. Stop. Keep going, keep rolling, keep rolling, and that should be enough. Right, T. Do we make it this time? Oh, that's perfect! I did it! Yes! Great. All the doors are lined up. Okay, I think we can actually stretch the legs of this train a bit now. We are up to a 90 kilometers per hour speed limit. And how many stations left? One. Just two stations left, and we're going via pretty much every other one. That's good. Tabata. Tabata. Yeah, whoa! We're in a race right here. Oh, look at the traffic! So much traffic. I love it. And then look, here's the high speed line up here. Oh, it would be really cool if they could put the, uh, the um, bullet train going along there, but I don't think it's actually in this route, which is a shame. And they also have, like, the... Um, I think this is the... Shinkansen Depot. It's the Shinkansen Depot right over here. Look at that. And they've gone under there. Oh, that's really cool. Such a detailed route. Look, there's a depot. Shinkansen Depot. That's where they maintain them. We are speeding massively. There we go. So the train actually stops you from speeding. Um, they have quite an aggressive system where it's not just a warning like they have in the British trains. It just stops it. Like, cuts the power when you're over speeding, which is fair enough. It's quite a cool system. Um, do we have to stop at any of these? Yes, we do. So let's slow down. Get those brakes on. Come on. Let's 
train pulled into the station. Is that the one we just saw? I don't really know. Right, let's coast in. So we've got to arrive at 152820. Okay. 152820. Vending machines. Oh, it's so cool. I'm a big lover of Japan. I did try to learn Japanese uh, for a bit, but I, I didn't really stick it out. Maybe I will sometime. It'd be cool langu language to learn, wouldn't it? Right, here we go. Let's just stop here. Stop, stop, stop. Ooh. Bit too far, I think. Open those doors. Go to eight camera view. The, the people look a bit weird in this, but they're fine. I mean, so near. Good enough. Um, there are no people in the train here, but when you press 5 for the passenger cam, they are here, which is... Well, I've no idea how that works. Look at that guy with his suitcase. Look at his hands! He's got sausage fingers. Oh, my goodness. Pretty cool. It's the same guy. Wow. That's creepy. Okay. Oh, no, no, he's got a slightly different haircut. Let's give the game that. Come on. Right. Now, there is a cab light in here. I should probably put that on. That'll help us to see a bit. So, wait for the doors to close. Now, we have got a green here, I think. I think it's red if you're going right, but we're not. So, good. Have I mentioned everything? Yeah, so 27 kilometers. It is a slightly longer line in real life. Because it goes down, I think, to here, the Tokyo station. Uh, main Tokyo station, that is. It's one of the busiest stations in Japan. But Ueno is the main station on the line, and that's where we're going next. It'll be a massive, massive station, and the game is probably going to struggle with its FPS. But anyway... This is the rapid bit of the line now. We're going to pretty much skip by all the other stations to get to our destination. Here we go. We're passing through a station right now. The horn is not very good. It's like a car horn and I think it needs to be louder. I really do. Oh. Very long trains here. I really I really am envious of their, of their um, transit system in Tokyo. So many stations. You can get everywhere and every... You know, everywhere, anywhere... Um, we're not stopping here. There's no gates on here either. That's kind of cool. So much better than the London underground. Oh, we're being overtaken. We're meant to be a rapid train. That's weird. I thought this was the more modern line. It doesn't actually feel like it is. That looks more direct. Anyway. I'm probably showing off my lack of railway knowledge, but I do just enjoy this game. It's very relaxing. Um, I love the detail. Can we open the window? No, we can't. Can we? What is that? I don't know. Um, wipers. Okay, we can. We actually have to slow down because it's 65. Uh, bit of a tight corner here. Come on, slow down. There we go. This is really cool. I've never seen this much traffic. I don't think in a route ever. It's it's baffling, really. Why more routes don't have this amount of traffic? But then again, Japan is a more busy country perhaps than a lot of the British lines that I like to play. But train seems really old now and it's amazing we finally got a Japanese route uh, that's set in Tokyo. Oh, did you see that? Look, 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 look. Where was it? Son V instead of Sony, that's funny. But yeah, this is the first Tokyo based route, I think, at least an official add-on, in all 15 years that this train sim has existed. Um... Oh, stop! We're here! I just noticed it in time. We're here. Wow. That wasn't good. We could have overrun there. So I think we have to stop at this 10 here. But look at the size. Look at this traffic. There is so much traffic here. That's crazy. Wow. What a route this is. Okay. We're just kind of gl gliding in now. Um, I've, I've actually lost where the sign is. Oh, we've overshot. We overshot. Can we? Should we reverse? Yeah, let's reverse. Do, 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 do. Are we on time? Yeah, we're on time. Ten seconds late. People won't mind, will they? This is not what you're supposed to do as a Japanese train driver. I would definitely be fired. But um, you know, I'm sure people want to get out of the train. So stop, stop. There we go. T, and let's have a look. Yay! Well, I really, really enjoyed that experience. I'll leave a link to the 
route in the description. And if you want to see me play any more, just let me know in the comments. I don't really know how popular Trend Sim will be on my channel these days. This is kind of an experiment. But um, I love playing this game in my free time. And I might do some live streams on it or something like that. This route is epic. I would definitely recommend it. Maybe wait for a sale if you're not too sure. It is quite expensive. But um, a really fun route nonetheless. Congratulations, just finished your scenario. Click the X mark to finish your scenario and see your performance. Well, I know I sped quite a lot and I failed on the, t the times and stuff, but I got... Did I get a gold star? No. That's a shame. But there you go. If you want to see another train sim video, why not click the video on screen right now where I drive on the high-speed bullet train in Japan. It's a really, really cool route and I think you'll enjoy it. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you soon for some more simulator adventures.